In a new report, the Marine Conservation Society and Rewilding Britain highlight that Britain's coastal waters store more carbon than UK forests. Britain's coastlines cover an estimated 193,000 square miles and store about 205 million tonnes of carbon, 50 million more than the carbon locked up within all the standing forests within the UK. Oceans are the source of at least 50% of all oxygen produced on Earth. Tiny marine bacteria produce as much as 20% of the oxygen in our entire biosphere. This is greater than all the tropical rainforests and land combined. Rewilding key marine ecosystems around the world could potentially lock up 1.83 billion tonnes of carbon each year. This is 5% of the savings needed globally. Harmful practices such as bottom trawling or dredging reduce the amount of carbon that Britain's coastal ecosystems like salt marshes and kelp forests can store. Currently, bottom trawling and dredging are only banned in 2% of the UK seas. The government has committed to planting 11 million trees by 2022. These organisations are clearly stating the evidence that rewilding the ocean is just as, if not more important than rewilding our land. They want to see the same commitments to the ocean and wetlands. They want to see the government develop an ocean charter to implement nature recovery plans and heavily limit harmful fishing practices. They want efforts to limit pollution levels and keep global average temperatures from rising more than 2.7 Fahrenheit by 2050. Total global greenhouse gas emissions were 53.3 billion tonnes in 2018. They could reach 60 billion tonnes by 2030. The report states that restoring seagrass, salt marsh, oyster reefs and kelp forests would give Britain a huge leap forward in meeting its carbon cutting goals. With this new report, they're calling for the rewilding and protection of at least 30% of Britain's seas by 2030.